So many of you are probably in the same boat as me. Sometimes menopause chooses to rob me of a good night's sleep. I know, you too, right? <laughs> well, maybe some of you are like me. When that happens, I don't really read because if I read, I sometimes get into the book and I'm up for hours and that's not good. So I find going on TikTok and Reels makes me tired. And I usually am on for a few minutes and then I go back to sleep. Well, while I'm on there, and this is usually TikTok, I see a lot of new trends, makeup trends, some good, some bad. And there was one that kind of piqued my interest because I've seen a couple of women, I think in their mid forties, late forties, try it and rave about it. So I thought, well, let me get my 63 year old self involved with this one to see if it works. So today we're gonna do that in this video and you will see my reaction and when we get to it i'll tell you how i feel about it so first i want to mention that today's video is in collaboration with nordstrom everything on my face or anything that i talk about can be purchased online or in store at nordstrom you know i do a lot of shopping at nordstrom so i recently placed an order with nordstrom and i wanted to share a couple of those things with you and i also wanted to say i think this is really great and i'm not always sure why i get it but someone told me if you place an order of so much money they automatically come to you but i got two really nice sample bags and this one has more skincare, some serums it's got some tata harper in here um, it's got some, who's this, Sunday Riley. It's, it's, it's got a lot of nice deluxe samples in it. And then there was this bag of fragrance samples. Now I love samples. It's how I find some of the best products I've ever used. But because I am in search of a new fragrance, because I fear that my beloved Burberry is going to be discontinued, I have been trying to find a new fragrance. So I have ordered a couple that were suggested to me and they did not really work for me. And the last time I had ordered some uh, Byredo, by I ordered the Ghost, and I had also ordered a Joe Malone. Neither one of those really worked. And a Bro Ellis Brooklyn, I think it was, uh, Salty Amber. They did not work for me. so. I could not really, I couldn't make any of those work. So I went ahead and I ordered some more. And the Byredo fragrances, I think I'm saying that right, Byredo, they just don't work for me, but I know that so many people absolutely love them. So, um, and that's great. When someone really finds a fragrance, they absolutely adore. So I ordered um, a few, some went back, but I did end up keeping one, which I'm going, I kept two, which I'm going to, one's a, a regular and one is brand new to me. But first I wanna talk about something else because this right here, when I show you this product, if the actual fragrance smells like this candle, and I need all of you to let me know if it does, I need to have this fragrance because it is spectacular, it's sophisticated, it is so gorgeous. Now the candle was sent to me as a Christmas gift and I, I'm telling you when I opened it up, I was, I was blown away by the fragrance. It is absolutely stunning, but you know, sometimes the candle and the actual, you know, fragrance smell a little different. I'm, a, I'm afraid that the fragrance may pull a little bit sweeter than the candle. So you all must let me know in the comments section. And I'm talking about this candle. This is the Baccarat Rouge 540 from Mason Francis Kirk Dijon, not sure how to say that, Paris. This fragrance is so beautiful and i will say i wanted to know how many hours because this is very very expensive you get 55 hours of burn time with this hand uh candle and i did look up the notes of this and it's really interesting because these are not notes that i usually gravitate towards so it's very interesting to me i find it a very seductive very sophisticated um bougie luxurious fragrance i truly do this candle i never want it to burn out because it's a pricey one <laughs> but it's gorgeous and the notes are it's um it says that 
The Baccarat Rouge 540 will fill the air with amber, and I love amber. I think that really is what's what pulls me to this candle. And then it has a floral, woody breeze, it says. It's actually jasmine, saffron, cedarwood, and amber grease. So let me know in the comments if you are familiar with this. And I know there are other fragrances in this line. Let me know what your favorite is. But does the perfume smell like this candle? Okay, enough about this. It is just, it is gorgeous. All right, so I also did replenish my Jo Malone Blackberry and Bay. I think I've probably gone through about four or five bottles of this. I do like it. Its top note is blackberry, its middle note is bay leaves, and the base note is cedar wood. But the blackberry and the cedar wood, they just really play well together. I absolutely love this. It's a little bit different from what I'm used to wearing. It does have, I don't want to say a crisp, fresh smell to it, but I would have to say that of all my other fragrances, this is this leans more towards the fresh, bright side of fragrances. It is beautiful. I also like the sage, the wood sage. That one's gorgeous too, but this one I find I wear more of. So another candle that I think is absolutely gorgeous, and this was also gifted to me, so I wanted to share it. And these are probably candles that I would have never purchased myself. Um, and I'm so glad someone else did for me because they are beautiful. But this one is from Nest. And the candle scent is Rose Noir Oud, or Oud, however you want to say it. But it's from Nest, and it comes in a beautiful glass jar. It is really a gorgeous candle, and you really can smell the rose. But because of the Oud or Oud, it really takes on a... For me, a uh, very soft, smoky floral. Uh, so the rose to me is very soft and smoky. It's really, really beautiful. So if you're looking for some home candles, these are gorgeous. And this one here, ooh, ooh la la. Mm. So let me get on to the fragrance that I actually did keep. Now, if you remember my last Nordstrom video, I actually tried the Tom Ford Rose Prick. And it's very pretty, but I think it has just a little bit too much prick for me. <laughs> but it is, it's a really beautiful scent, but it, like I said, it's a little prickly for me. So it's nice, but not, I'm not quite there. So, so this one here I ordered because I had forgotten years ago, I used to wear Omnia from Bulgari, and I loved it. And then they discontinued the original Omnia, and they came out with Amethyst and Coral and Crystalline, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and none of those did it for me. The original that was in the brown and silver was fabulous. And, of course, they did away with it. So um, I, I don't know if I've... I don't know, many of you may not know that for years I was the counter manager for fragrances at Lord & Taylor. I was counter manager for women's fragrances for a few years and then I also was counter manager for the men's fragrances. I much preferred the women's fragrances. So um, I know I'm very familiar with a lot of fragrances and I really did get to smell a lot of them. So while I was searching for fragrances, I saw Bulgari and I thought, oh, let me pull those up. So I pulled it up and I saw this one. I also ordered another one, but it wasn't, it was too uh, bright florally for me and it just didn't work. So this one is from Bulgari, and it's called Rose Goldilia, and, or Goldia. It is really beautiful, and it is the Eau de Parfum. But I have to tell you, if you're into fragrance bottles, this one is beautiful. Look how gorgeous that is. It is just, it's spectacular. It's so beautiful, and I know a lot of women, the um, container for their fragrance is also important to them. And this is just beautiful. It fits in the hand nicely. Uh, this comes off. It's really, really a gorgeous container. And the notes in this remind me so much of another fragrance that I used to wear years and years ago, going back probably 20, over 25 years ago. And that was from Yves Saint Laurent, YSL. It was uh, the fragrance called Paris or Paris, however you 
choose to say it. Uh, this one is very, very similar, and I loved that fragrance and had totally forgotten about that one as well. So many fragrances that I love that they were discontinued or, you know, you find something new and you kind of forget about those things, but it's a surprise when you go back to them. But this one here is beautiful. It is a floral, which I'm not into strong florals, but this one's top note is pomegranate, rose petal extract, and musk. The middle note is uh, Damascena, rose absolute, and jasmine as absolute, but the base notes are musk, sandalwood, and white incense essence. This is a very seductive fragrance. It's very, very feminine. I like a feminine, sultry, warmer fragrance. I don't really care for crisp florals. I don't care for beachy scents. I don't care for extreme spice. So I really, um, this one here is really beautiful. It is, it has, it definitely has a beautiful dry down of roses. So if you don't like roses, this is not going to suit you, but it is really beautiful. So I at least have found one new fragrance. And of course I love my Blackberry Bay. And as soon as I read all the comments from you, Perhaps I'll be wearing that one. It, I mean, I'm afraid. I'm afraid because I, the candle, you can, it, it has that smoking, oh my goodness, it is so good. But I'm just afraid that the perfume, it will lean more towards sweet. So let me know. All right, so that so is it for all the gorgeous scents. So I'm just going to quickly tell you about my face and this new trend that I saw on TikTok. I think it was TikTok. It could have been Reels, but we're going to go with TikTok. Anyway, um, I have had the Clinique Even Better Clinical Foundation for a while. I will put the colors down below because I can't see them, my friends. So um, I do like this foundation, but I'm really all about a glow. So I did mix it with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in number four. And I put some on the high points of my face. And then I went in with my damp sponge with my foundation and went over it instead of blending it because I really wanted to highlight the high points or where you want that glow so, so for the hack that I've been talking about. Uh, it seems that mixing your highlighter with your concealer seems to be the trend. So first I go in with my YSL and this has a peach undertone and I'm sounding like a broken record here but I put this on first. It's very thin, lightweight, but it, it, it does have excellent coverage if you just want to use this. But I use it just to camouflage out the blueness that I have underneath my eyes because this allows me to use less concealer. So this is the actual trick. Whatever you use as your highlighter in a liquid form, you mix a little bit in with your concealer and then you put that underneath your eyes and it's supposed to be super fabulous. Well, let me grab my mirror here. It goes on, it, I mean, these two together, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I like it because it didn't have sparkle chunks in it. And then the Lancome Tint Edel Ultra Wear. I mix these two together. Very small amount of both. Mix them together. You can go in with just your finger and place it where you want and then use your sponge, damp sponge, to really blend it out. I am going to tell you right now, it is a hot mess on an aging woman with wrinkles underneath her eyes. I'm going to, I hope I can come in. I'll take a picture out in daylight for you to see how this has settled. It may look beautiful on camera, but in real life, this is never going to happen again for me. I am just going to stick with my concealer because I, I'm going to stick with my blend. I'm going to use my YSL and my Lancome because they really work for me. Adding this in because, again, I have to set underneath my eyes or it's going to travel all over the place. So once I went in with the powder, it was too much, just too much. And I used very little, as you can see in the clip. I don't pack powder on. I don't bake it. I use as little as I possibly can. But if I don't use any at all, 
the concealer moves all around on me. So it's just something we have to really work at finding the products that work for underneath our own eyes. And, you know, I'm still always searching. I will say, though, this one here, it really does work well. I mean, I probably should look into some different colors uh, so that I could just put the peach on and camouflage out a little bit and then just go in with this because it's so thin when you put it on. It's just really thin, and then to blend it down, it, it gives great coverage, but it's not thick. And it just has a little bit of a peach undertone. So if I got one that's a little bit lighter that has more of a neutral undertone, it perhaps would just give me the right amount of coverage and highlighting that I want under the eyes. So for me, that trend, it's a no-go, my friends, a no-go. And also getting back to the sample bags, the last time I placed an order, the sample bag was different, and I received this Gucci mascara. So that's what I use today, and it's very, very nice. Now, I've only had it on for a little while, and it really, it's not transferring, it's not flaking anywhere. It, I will say that it's not, it has a, um, the brush on it is one of those that I don't really care for, but the formula of the mascara is nice, especially if you prefer a lengthening mascara. It doesn't give you as much bulk as some of my other mascaras, like the YSL gives you a really nice bulk along with some length. I prefer a bulkier lashes versus um, you know how uh, spider lashes I call them where they're all separated and just long but this one here does really lengthen very nicely and I don't know if you noticed but today I did go with a peach look with my halo I've been wearing a lot of pinks uh, but I wanted you all to know that you do have to tweak things a little bit but you can still wear the colors you love and I think that my peach tones look beautiful with the halo I think the pinks look beautiful with the halo and I'm still able to wear red now it'll be interesting to see as the white takes over how I will have to change I think I'm going to have to really change my foundation tones but so far I'm still able to wear my peach and this is one of my favorites. This is a pinky peach, and this is In Love with Olivia from Charlotte Tilbury. Absolutely love it. You can really change this with the liners that you use. So uh, that has been my favorite for a very long time. I've gone through tubes and tubes. And I think that is it for today's video. I would like to thank Nordstrom for collaborating with me once again. So uh, I have lots of samples to go through, but I'm always interested in what some of your favorites are. And I'm just noticing here that I have a sample from this, but it's not the Baccarat. It's the Aqua Universalis. Universalis. It's a Cologne Forte. I don't know if it's for men or women, but sometimes I even like a man's fragrance. I have no objections to wearing a man's fragrance if it smells fabulous on me. <laughs> All right, friends, that is it. I'm going to let you get out of here. Everything will be listed and linked below. Before you head out, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty, so go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Right next to it is the bell. Until the next time, my friends, you go out in the world and be lovable. And remember, it's okay to love your age. I love you all. Bisous.